And, and let's talk Russia and OPEC for a moment. A report in the Wall Street Journal this morning. Uh, Saudi Arabia ties raise concerns among OPEC members. The report says this. Delegates say they are growing increasingly concerned that Saudi Arabia is giving uh, non-member Russia too much leverage over prices, OPEC officials said. They say that the cartel's plans to push prices higher could be at risk if Russia does not go along. Russia's not a member of OPEC. Right. Well, as, as we know, the, the meeting in Vienna is starting. In fact, it has started. And it's going to be very interesting what the OPEC members and their discussions with Russia depends on. It's going to be interesting in, in what happens with the, uh, the global supply. Um, I would expect that the OPEC members are going to you know, probably reduce production, trying to uh, get the price up a little bit. Uh, but it's going to be very interesting what happens in the next couple of days. How significant is this move? I and mean, when you look at the impact on business, Delta Airlines yesterday said that they could see revenue falling short because of the decline in oil prices. I, I mean, they recently wrote, they, they uh, increased ticket prices and canceled some routes to respond to the rising price of oil before the downturn. And now we've got oil down 20 percent from the highs. Give us right. a sense of business impact. Well, the story that I read, I, I think they're concerned that other airlines might uh, uh, start discounting some airfares because of the lower price of oil. So we'll see. But but to your question on uh, uh, you know production and what what might happen in OPEC, you know I think you're going to see some sort of a pullback in their production. Um, it's been very clear when when you look at the five year running average of inventory of, of global supply of crude, the the supply got down into the low to medium end of that uh, that range early in the year, but since has grown significantly. And it's the great production uh, story we have and the, the energy dominance story that, that the president has here in the U.S. Right. of increasing production here, but also increasing production in the world. So the inventories have started to rebuild. And uh, so this is going to be a, a very, very important meeting in OPEC. But when you look at this decline, I mean, how much lower can it go before it has a serious negative impact on the shale production of this country? Well, I think we're we're there. Yeah. And, uh, and and if you look at the uh, Canadian producers, when you're looking at uh, you know the widespreads of uh, the Western Canadian Select versus WTI, um, you look at some of the the rail costs to get crude out of the Bakken when, because the pipelines are full. I think we're we're going to start seeing a, a slowdown in drilling. Um, if we if they don't see some prices turn around, slowdown in drill, drilling is a big deal. It is for the broader economy. Real quick before you go, given this decline in prices, where does the growth come from at Marathon in the next five years? Well, the we we have just completed a, a big renovation to our Garyville, Louisiana refinery, as well as Galveston Bay, our two biggest uh, refineries. And with this acquisition of Endeavor, uh, we see growth coming. In, really in the diesel market. Uh, we're expecting big uh, increases in diesel because of the IMO, which is a, a requirement to go to ultra-low sulfur diesel for all shipping uh, containers that come into the U.S. and all ships that come into the U.S. and other ports. So we're looking for a big increase in, in diesel demand going forward. All right, we'll be watching that. Um, in, in terms of that slowdown we could see from shale production, if oil stays where it is, how significant do you think? Well, um, and it depends on where you look, the, the shale on whether it's the Marcellus Utica side, uh, which is more gas and natural gas liquids, or if we get out into uh, the Permian or up into the Bakken, um, it, a slowdown in, in crude oil or if it's, it's a slowdown in natural gas. I don't think it's going to be dramatic okay. early. Okay. Gary, it's good to have you on the program. Thanks for having me well, again. Thank you so much. Gary, having our uh, Marathon Petroleum